What's up guys? I'm excited you could be here tonight. My name is Stoof and today we're gonna have a paint party! <laughs> and uh, these are the materials you're going to need for this paint party. I want you to grab some of your friends, throw this video up on the TV at your house and uh, let your friends follow along with me as we make a painting of a beautiful butterfly. Uh, the materials that you're gonna need to make this painting are an easel, a canvas, uh, some paint. I'm using acrylic paint. I have yellow, blue, white, green, black, and red. Uh, I have two types of blue and two types of red. Uh, I have a link to all of these paint colors in my description at the bottom of this video. And you're also going to need some paint brushes. These are the ones that I got. Got some bigger brushes, some smaller brushes for making some finer detail. And uh, there's a link to these as well. And I also have a cup with some water in it and some paper towels in case you make a mess like I know I'm going to do. And let's see. Oh, I almost forgot. One more thing you're gonna need is a nice beverage to help you uh, get through this painting with your friends and have a fun night together. Cheers. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Once you have all your materials and you're ready to start painting, we are gonna do step number one, which is to paint an outline of the butterfly. I used black paint. You are welcome to use any color paint you would like to use because we are going to paint over all of these lines. This is just to give us an idea of where our subject is going to be in this painting. Once you get a general idea of where your butterfly is going to be, you can go back in and uh, modify the shape of the wings if you uh, want to change anything about your butterfly. I decided to change the angles on some of those wings, so that's what I'm doing right here. Congratulations, you made it to step number two! Step number two, we are going to mix colors and we are going to paint the background behind the butterfly. I used lots of warm colors for the background. You're welcome to use whatever colors you would like. If you would like to copy the background that I used, you're going to mix red, yellow, and a little bit of a bunch of other colors. We're going to apply the paint by making quick, small little brush strokes in diagonal patterns. So we're going to be keeping our brush strokes at diagonal angles, just randomly throwing some nice loose brush strokes all across our background. We want to use darker colors along the outsides of the background, like closer to the borders, and uh, lighter colors towards the inside of the background, closer to the butterfly. That's going to bring everybody's attention right on that butterfly.
Once you have the background all filled in with paint, you can go back in with some of those older colors you used and overlap the paint that is already on there. You're gonna throw some wet paint on the paint that is already down. Uh, just quick little brush strokes again. That's gonna give this painting a nice, loose, warm appearance. At this point, your painting probably looks a lot different than mine does, and that's okay. That's how paint parties go. Everybody has their own style of painting, and uh, the subject matter might be the same, but the paintings all look so different. And that doesn't mean that yours is bad, that just means it's different. Just keep going and uh, you'll really like how it turns out, I promise. I finish up my background by adding this peachy color and blending that in in random places and also just throwing those loose brush strokes down. And then after I throw this color down, I'm gonna throw one last layer of a nice bright yellow that's gonna bring everybody's attention back into that butterfly. Just kidding guys, we weren't done with the background yet. I also added one more layer of dark red with some black just to uh, bring out those borders a little bit more. I was having way too much fun with this background. We are on our third and final step. Are you ready? Step three, paint the butterfly. <laughs> I chose to use a cool color for my butterfly because my background is a nice warm color. So I used a mix of blue and white to start the base for this butterfly and then I go back in with a lot of different colors. It makes the butterfly uh, really pretty and a lot of fun to paint. So uh, you're welcome to use whatever colors you would like, but I definitely recommend you use contrasting colors uh, between your background and your butterfly because you want those two to stand out from each other.
colors accidentally bleed together on the canvas like you can see my blue mixed in with my yellow there and turned uh, part of the butterfly's wing green uh, don't worry about it you can always just let it dry and come back to it later with some uh, new fresh paint once that dries or you could just throw a very heaping large amount of wet paint over that existing wet paint and it should not blend started putting some light pink paint onto my butterfly wings then I uh, used some of my dark blue and black to further define the edges of the butterfly wing after that I mixed some white paint with some blue and I brightened my butterfly wings One thing to keep in mind with your butterfly painting, if you'd like it to be a little bit more realistic, you should try to keep uh, symmetry between both sides of the wings. So uh, as you can see, I'm painting white on the top left wing, and I'm also painting that white in the same spot on the top right wing to keep it symmetrical between both sides of the butterfly.
So you might be done with your butterfly at this point. If you like the way that your butterfly looks and you don't want to keep adding more lights and then darks over it and then more lights over it again and you just think it looks great the way it is, you can go ahead and stop here and fast forward to the end of this video or uh, you know, watch your friends while they finish their butterfly. Uh, maybe grab another beverage if you need another one. But uh, what I'm doing here is just adding more layers, a little bit more detail, just making my butterfly crazy with color. For my finishing touches to this painting, I went back to the background again. I added more reds to the background, more yellows, and then I go back into that butterfly one more time and I add some more highlights. I bring some of those warm colors from the background onto the butterfly too, and then I call it a painting. You absolutely do not have to do all of these steps. Whenever you are happy with the way that your butterfly painting looks, you stop right there. That's it, we're all done. Here's my finished piece right here. La, 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 la. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. I'm not gonna lie, about halfway through this painting, I didn't know if I wanted to keep going because I wasn't sure how it was turning out, but I'm glad that I pulled through. I like how it looks now. I like the contrast of the blue, cooler tones with those uh, warmer yellows and reds that I have in the background. Uh, I'd like to see how your paintings turned out. If you guys use the same color scheme as me, that's great. Uh, or if you use your own color scheme and you t made a totally different, you know, you made a cooler background with a warmer butterfly. I want to see it. Uh, so if you want to post it on your Instagram, post it on Instagram and make sure you uh, hashtag the painting stoop with your post so I can see it. 
If you happen to live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I run paint parties uh, for you and your friends. I will come to your house, I will bring all of the materials, I will bring an easel and a canvas and paint and palettes and brushes and uh, plastic tablecloths and cups for your water and all you need to bring are your own friends for, to uh, have a party with. And you can register for these paint parties on my website, www.thepaintingstoop.com. Check it out today if you uh, want to host your own paint party. It'll be a good time.